Right now, you might be saying to yourself, I would love to make some compelling marketing animations, but I have no idea where to get started. What if I told you it's extremely easy to do? Would you even believe me? Well, let's spend the next couple minutes going over the process and you decide for yourself. To start off, I have this model I'm going to be animating. For this project, I'm going to be creating a simple assembly animation for this entertainment system. This animation is intended for marketing purposes, not really a how to assemble animation. The easiest way to do this is to create a basic explode in SOLIDWORKS. Even if you want to make an assembly animation, the most simple way is to create a disassembly explode. Since typically all the parts are modeled in location and the exploded view can be played back in reverse, essentially making an assembly animation. Exploded views are created by selecting the transition direction, keying in the distance, and clicking on add step. This process is repeated for every part that needs to be exploded or assembled. Once the exploded view is created, it's a good idea to make a new camera for this animation. This step helps when we get into visualize since the cameras transfer over. Adding the exploded view to a new motion study is done using the animation wizard. Since I made an explode animation, I'm going to use a collapse option and setting the duration will control the length of the final animation. Now it's time to export the motion study to Visualize Pro. Using the Export Advanced option in the SOLIDWORKS Visualize add-in, select the motion study and the entire animation will automatically be converted to SOLIDWORKS Visualize Pro. Visualize will automatically open with the imported SOLIDWORKS motion study. The motion study could be rendered out at this time, but by adding a few simple adjustments within Visualize, we will have dramatic effects on the final video. In Visualize, adding a scene is a simple drag and drop function, which will bring in a 360 background image and HDR lighting. By hiding the roof of my model, I can then drag and drop some appearances, adding detail and realism to the assembly. Now that the scene is set up and appearances have been placed, it's time to test the video before publishing the final render. To do this, Activate the camera that will be used for the final render and click the play button from the animation timeline. Everything is looking good, so let's render out this video. To do this, I will go to Tools, Render, and plug in the resolution and rendering passes I would like to use for each frame of the animation. For this one, I use Quad HD and set the rendering passes to 500. By enabling the AI denoiser, the rendering passes can be greatly reduced. By selecting the Animation Options tab, I will set the length and the frames per second for the animation. For this video, I'm going to use 30 and click on Start Animation Render. And there we go. As you can see, the steps to create a professional animation are actually rather simple. But we don't have to stop here. You know, I took the time to create this full 3D model, bring it into Visualize, add my appearances, and create the scene. I might as well take it to the next level. Right now, I'm left with a fully set up environment, and with just a few commands, I can turn this into a high dynamic range image or even a 360 degree virtual reality walkthrough video. If there is a need for extra content, the work is already done. All I need to do is add a new camera to the timeline and set the camera mode to 360. Anything rendered from this new camera will be set in 360 degree environment and is perfect for virtual reality applications. With the right tools, it doesn't take extensive time or efforts to produce professional animations.